comedy is uh, is the is the high, va high value of the bomber. It's been like this this past two three years. There is probably less demand about action shows. They're looking for what they call neutral gender. They hope to get shows that can work for both uh, boys and kids. And preschool is still doing very well. Uh, format gets shorter and shorter. There used to be until five ten years ago. It was the format of half hour was uh, the dominant dominant format, but it's changed a lot uh, because the broadcaster first they want some flexibility, and when you have a shorter format, you can play around your um, your uh, schedule, whereas half hour is more rigid. Uh, and a half hour is also extremely, um, could be very formatted when it comes to the writing. A half hour is a, is, a, is a very difficult task in, in terms of writing. And it doesn't necessarily <coughs> leave a lot of ground when it comes to be a little crazy in the, in, in the staging and the directing and everything. So when it comes to a certain comedy, 11 minutes, even 7 minutes are doing very, very well nowadays. And you can even have two or three stories of 7 minutes, they will make a half hour. But um, it, it, you will play very differently in terms of the, uh, of, of the storytelling. And it gives a much bigger room uh, to the storyboard, uh, to the gag, to the comedy. Uh, it's very different. It's, it's less narrative constructed. It could be more gag driven somehow. And uh, so broadcasters loves it more and more. Uh, cross media is um, it, it, it's essential. I mean nowadays you don't launch a new show without having a strategy on the internet, uh, on the mobile. I mean, so most of the series right now have their own application for Either Android or, you know, or, um, or, or Apple, or Apple, or um, you have a lot of uh, uh, social networking that we play a lot. It can even be a, a way of promoting, or launching, or previewing, or creating a buzz. That's that's quite important. Um, recently, we. Uh, it's in a, one of the series that we're doing, which is a very popular one, it's called Oggy and the Cockroaches, which we, uh, Francois, uh, started the, the broadcasting the season number four. And uh, during the summer, we launched uh, an application, uh, a mobile application, a game, a freemium game, yeah, which did very well. We had a 1.4 million download just in France, so that's huge. But that's a fabulous tool, you know. Then we can use this app to promote the show on the air, and, and vice versa. So I mean, kids watch, still watch a lot of television, of linear television, and in the same time they do use a lot of new screens, whether mobile or console game or etc. But they actually do is they're using simultaneously screen. They watch television, but in the same time watching television, they, you know chit chat with their uh, with their friend on the mobile and then the, there's the video game that's not very far. So you be on you need to be on all those screens. If you want your character to exist in this field, you want to be on, on all on all kind of screens. Now the other big evolution which taking which taking a huge part of the business now is very recent. It really boomed last year, which is the um, SVOD and VOD. You know, whether it's free VOD, ad, ad supported VOD, all of those kind of video on demand, uh, that is becoming a very important source of revenue. I mean, not up front, it doesn't pre finance yet. A little bit, although Amazon, for example, has picked up, uh, I think, uh, has f f funded four or five pilots for new series. That's quite exceptional. But now, in terms of the library, the shows are circulating very much on those uh, digital platforms. And that is uh, something that needs to be taken into consideration now.